wasn't an off week, it was a bye week. Uh, describe that. What's a bye week like? I know you didn't have one last year, so I know it wasn't an off week. I know you had a couple of days off, so to speak, but was it as. Uh, describe what a bye week's like um, here, I guess. Well, I, I, think, I think it's definitely like a, a jump start in a way um, for the next part and some fresh faith and we play. But also, it kind of gives you a chance to kind of get back to the basics, really. And um, last week, last year, actually, we had no bye weeks. And um, I mean, kind of, we kind of strayed away from our, our basics, so to speak. Um, so going on the bye weeks, we come back in and we, we kind of get the basics and now and mm-hmm. kind of step away from game plans um, in a way, um, which is kind of fair for you to but um, we have time to just kind of get back to the normal things that we do and kind of have a new a restart to the season. Right. How big, I mean, look, every game's a challenge, and obviously you're coming off a game with the number eight team in the country at the time or number nine. This Utah State team, they just, they average more than 300 yards rushing. They got a big line. They got physical running backs. I mean, what's it going to take for, I know it's not going to just be up to one guy on the defense, but yeah. what's it going to take for you guys? No one's, um, even though they're one and three, no one's really slowed them down very much. Yeah, they, they definitely have a chance that they could have been four now. Um, it, it seems like they haven't necessarily finished all the games in a way. So I think that's going to be the big thing is finishing on both sides of the ball. And um, as long as we stop them and our offense scores, then we have to hold on to that and we have to make sure we stop them. You know, lots been made about missed tackles with this team. What needs to change there? Or did, was that addressed? Was that, was that worked on a lot in the bye week? Oh, definitely. We always work on our tackling. Um, I think that's one thing that we started with last year. Um, so definitely, you know, getting those tackles down and stopping them at that first contact is definitely what we need to do. You know, what about the, the turban guy, the running back number six? I mean, he's a just a bowling ball looking yeah. guy. And I know Burkhead last week was, you faced some pretty good backs already this season, but yeah. what's it going to take to tackle him or, or at least contain him. I don't know if you're ever going to stop a guy like that, but what's it going to take to contain him? Because not a lot of teams have been able to so far. Definitely teamwork. Uh, we, do, we always fight some sort of to the ball. Um, we always want to get as many jerseys as we can of our own color to, to the ball and make sure mm-hmm. that first guy wraps up and the second guy the can strips the ball. You know, I, look, you're worried about your guys, but these guys have been in four close games, well, three close games, and they've lost them all late. Do you feel if, if you're able to, you know, obviously it'd be nice to get there, control the game from start to finish, and not worry about what if it's a close game late, you've come from behind once already and you held on once late in the game. Do you feel like if this is if this game's in the fourth quarter and it's close, do you guys, like your guys' chances because of the experiences you've had so already in close games? Oh, I think so. I think we, we definitely have a chance no matter what. Um, it, it's going to be a dog fight. That's, that's for sure. Um, we, we want to keep winning and um, they want to get a win. So it'll be a dog fight. All right. Sounds good, Mike.